Welcome to Chat with Nat. We're at WGDR, WGDH, Goddard Community Radio here in Plainfield. And we have Nat Frothingham talking to David Furland. David, how many programmers yes. are running on the, on the radio station at the moment? How right, many? Right now we have 66 individual current programmers. You know all of their names? You I know do. all of the programs? I do. Well, let's let's not let's not test that hypothesis. <laughs> but what are some of the the most engaging, brightest, quirkiest shows that are on air? Well, probably, arguably, the most popular show that gets the most listenership every single week is "Curse of the Golden Turnip" with Alan LePage, and he's certifiable genius type, and he's got way more listeners online. And a lot of listeners, uh, you know, on, on the broadcast, and he's probably the most listened to. What is the curse of the golden turnip? It's a garden show. On I know, but what is the curse? The curse of the well, if you get a golden turnip, uh, apparently that's a bad thing. Oh, bad! <laughs> apparently, I'm just guessing here because it's a curse. I know, and, but a curse is a, a very heavy duty thing. <laughs> You're going to have to get up at 7 o'clock Sunday morning and listen to the show. And I will find out what the curse is. Call him up and ask him. He absolutely takes a lot of uh, calls on the air and, and say, Alan. What uh, is the curse? What's the curse? I have golden turnips. <laughs> oh, no. What did I do wrong? <laughs> He'll tell you. Are you the operations manager? That's right. I'm what does that mean? Operations manager at WGDR, I do three separate jobs. One is program director. That means I, I'm in charge of the air schedule, who gets on, and where they're, where they're on, what the syndicated programs are, like Democracy Now!, and uh, Economic Update with Richard Wolf, all that kind of okay, stuff. Okay, number two. The number two, uh, station engineer. I fix, what does that mean? I fix broken equipment that, that people who come in here and manhandle all the stuff <laughs> well, number three is... Oh, I'm the thought police. Oh, my God. Go for it. <laughs> totally. Um, it's a radio station. That means we're not speaking, we're broadcasting. Got it. And so there's rules to, to make a broadcast. You have, a, have to have a license in order to broadcast, like going and harvesting timber off of uh, federal... Forests. Yeah, yeah, I get you it. You need a license. You need a license. You need a license to go on the public land of the radio waves, the public yep. s sphere. And so things can't be indecent. And decent. that license, that license restricts us and makes us protect children from profanity and sexual content in the daytime. In the middle of the night, it's tolerated, but not in the daytime to protect children. Other things we can't uh, during election season oppose or support the station, uh, a current candidate. The station can't oppose or support. Again, what's the thing you like doing best, most and best? I like the thing that, 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 that charges me up here is you take a, 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 a regular person who, who would never do such a thing as come out in public with themselves. And you give them an opportunity to go into the air studio. You tell them, what's important to you? How do you think of the world? And then you give them a couple of hours on a Saturday to come out yeah. with it. By golly, they will. Okay. And if you let them, they'll top themselves. Oh, that's fantastic. It's, it, it's so regular, normal people turn into rock stars just because they came here and tried. This is great. David, thank you. You're welcome, that.